Alright guys, so this video is all about food and my favorite kinds of food and Jaza, or however you pronounce your username, you wanted me to do a little cooking video type thing on how my little favorite foods from my main favorites. And so right now I'm just going to show you how I made my quesadilla. And I'm going to add like a little soup and some different food that I just am enjoying. And they're just wonderful. <laughs> they mostly will involve chocolate, so that is also amazing. So. Yeah, well, let's get to this video. Also, before I start this, I'm not very good at voiceovers, and so if it sounds weird, I am very sorry about that, but hopefully I'll get better. I'm hoping I'll get better. Let's cross my our fingers, hoping that. Alright, let's get to this video. Where'd it go? Pretty simple. All you'd really need is a quesadilla and some cheese and then something to cook it on which isn't very hard to find, so I'm just placing all of this cheese everywhere around the quesadilla because I like mine super cheesy, and then just placing the top part on the top. That's pretty much what you do. <laughs> I set my hot pan thing, I forgot what this is called, to 400 degrees, and I'm just pushing putting ham all over it, or cooking spray, and then just placing my quesadilla on top of that. Now while that is cooking, I'm getting my other stuff ready. I'm using sour cream, aka some yogurt, I know that sounds really weird, and some salsa, and I'm just putting this in a huge bowl, and just putting this all on top of each other because that's how I like it. And I know it looks really gross and really fattening, but it's just super yummy. <laughs> I'm taking my pizza cutter and I'm just going over that. And it's actually pretty hard to do a quesadilla when you're filming because it does burn, so that's why it's a little bit brown. Because of that I used that big huge bowl thing, I can place my tortilla or quesadilla in there nicely and they can touch the little sour cream stuff so I can get to it easily and it just looks wonderful and it tastes amazing. Alright, so right now I'm just taking that banana and I'm going to be cutting it into medium sized slices. Now you're going to be taking that bowl of chocolate chips and you're just going to be placing them in the microwave and I put mine for one minute and it did fabulously. Your chocolate is melted, you're just going to be placing a toothpick into a banana, dipping it halfway into the chocolate and then putting it in some nuts. I also just eat them with a fork because these toothpicks were just giving me such a hard time. <laughs> I hope you liked that video and if you are recreating any of my food thingamajigs, you don't have to, but they're really good. So if you do, please send me a picture or comment down below that you did that. And yes, all my links are in the description below, so if you're awesome, you can go follow me on there, too, so you can get all the updates on my videos and Q&As. If you want to be in more different videos, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Alright, guys, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own DIY elastic shorts.